everybody just out and browsing. So let's see what we can find. Little chocolates here. But there's a cute little doll. She's cute. Now let's look around. Miniatures. In here, look at this little dot sitting here. Eight dollars. This one for five dollars. See what the fun things we can. Here, this is great for dioramas. It's one dollar. Okay, take that because Barbie would look beautiful on that as a diorama. So yes, I'm gonna take that dollars. And they look like Dutch dolls. Oh, five dollars each. What a lovely, lovely costume. Very nice. And here, look at this. Another Dutch costume. Looks like an older doll. That almost looks like plastic or celluloid. Okay, lots of teddy bears here. A Gibson girl. Look at that Gibson girl here. The hairstyle of a Gibson girl. And there's a dress of a Gibson lady. So it's always fun to browse. You never know what kind of dolls to add to your collection, what you can find. But here's another doll there. And isn't that a cute one? <laughs> it's got an adorable face and it looks like it's really well made and it's priced reasonably at $8. This one is $5. Little Teddy. Let me see the maker on this. Oh, it's very, very adorable. If you look closely on her neck, it's a Jack Pacific doll. So this is a really cute doll because she's got adorable red hair with curls and really nice ringlets, but I cannot collect big dolls. I have no room, but isn't she adorable? She comes in a really cute outfit, quality outfit, quilted jacket, cute little dress and some panties there. She's got like a little... She's a young child, so she's got like a little belly pout there. Very adorable. Look at the hand sculpt. So this is a Jack doll. And it's got a serial number. 2030 SW01. So that's a really, she's adorable. As doll collectors, we struggle with, should we buy it or should we not? Because only because collecting so many it just takes a lot of room but there's a little adorable monkey there a little adorable pair bears there but uh, I wanted to show you something I want to show you something here look come come with me this is like the vintage two cabinets of vintage items and in this vintage item look at this Look how cute this little bear is. It's a black bear. And it's a CJ Halls. But that's a really adorable bear, black. So here we are, a lot of vintage items in, in this cabinet tree here. But I have the 
energy to go through this stack of shells and I'm not quite happy with the way they're displaying Barbies now they're getting really ruined because they're all tossed in bins so you gotta got gotta go diving in so come along with me welcome to Barbie Rocks here we go let's have some fun let's see what's here pull out some cute dolls for you some of these dolls are very adorable but this is an older doll kind of well made okay not seeing anything anything here but cute dolls. So a lotus doll. But this is a really nice doll. She's adorable. Her eyes. Probably got the lashes. She's got a cute, cute face. But look, there's a cabbage patch. Let's see, oh, look at this funky doll. What an adorable face is that. Now let's see the company on this. So same company Lotus. They're, they make quite good dolls. She's really cute. And look at her little outfit. She's got a really adorable face. Another one. These ones are priced a little high. $14.99. Oh, look at her. Oh wow, she is so cute. Her hair, that is amazing hair. Okay, let's see what else we have here. It's like just cheap, lightweight doll, so not of any quality. Here, here's another one. Oh, a lot of these have shown up, these lotus dolls. How cute she is. I don't collect these big dolls, but they're very cute. There's another one with shoes and the whole outfit for $14.99. Really nice green eyes. Wow. Oh, this one's adorable. thought I would just kind of give you a look on oh, you doll lover. She is a cutie. I love her. <laughs> love her body sculpture. Look at her little belly. Isn't she adorable? For $7.99? I would pick that up. She's really cute. So adorable, but just can't do it. But there you go. Now let's dive in to the barbers and see if we can find anything here. I'm I'm looking more like there's some really good Disney or any good older dolls. I like to collect them like she looks older. This one. I don't know who she is, but any older um, faces I love. I love vintage dolls, but I'm saddened to see them just toss them in like this because they get really more damaged than individual packaging. Now, there's an older face. A bride doll there. She looks like a Disney doll, all scribbled on. 
articulated wrists. Really, really hard. <laughs> and she's a big doll. I'll, I'll put her back in the big doll section. Okay, let's keep looking. If the head sits on the neck like that, it means it's broken. Oh my gosh. Now that is an older doll, but She's in bad, bad condition. Look at her. Look at that foot. But you know, sometimes I'm just buying it for the retro outfit. Like that outfit, I know is older. So I might take her. Only because. Oh, that's too bad. Such an old. But it is. Let's put that one aside there. Okay, let's keep digging. So there are some older dolls that have shown up but very, very bad, bad condition. There's the neck broken there. Like, this is not the way to, I like it when they displayed them individually in bags. But I am still willing to look. She's a cute doll. This one here is cute. Let me put her aside. So it looks like two that I'm interested in. Barbie like this. She's got a mistake. Who's that? Someone tried to put glitter on her. It looks like a, almost a Cinderella face. Oh my goodness. It's, it's really nice. worth saving. Pop the head off. The body is. See the feet? And there are the hands. So. So there are some vintage ones here. That looks like a really cheap doll. It's so light. The plastic is hollow and light. Let's go to the top shelf. We have the tippy toe. hold my camera because it's not the way it's so difficult take a look to see what's here she looks like from Toy Story what a beautiful blue eyes there's a clone doll some of the clone faces are quite cute too The hair is really, really in bad condition. Clone. I'm sure all of you would certainly find something you like, but. Oh, she's a cute face. 
$2.99, yes. She's a cute doll. I like her. I don't know who she is. Let's see if I can see. It's the Totsy, a Totsy doll. You can tell it's an earlier doll. It's a real neat look. A face sculpt. Kind of interesting. I'll put that over there. Two ninety nine. It's not gonna break the bank. I don't think I can um, do anything with that here. It's such poor, poor condition. It's um, just on this shelf. There's only thing I can see. She looks older. Look at that. Ooh, looks older. Look face. It's 1990s Mattel. Hmm. Take a look at that one. Love, um, do love Disney faces. She's a real cute Disney Snow White. Very adorable doll. Might take her. Thing, except for those four that have captured my eyes. So, give me a comment. What would you What would you choose? Okay, let's go to the last shelf, last one. See what we can find. So I hope where you live, you have a selection of uh, thrift stores that you can pop into and, and have fun browsing. It's all about browsing, having fun with this hobby. And just look, they seem so cheap. These ones are so light. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold my camera here. There's a little cute little Disney, a pixie. Just love their faces so and face. And I think we're gonna call it a wrap. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. That looks like an Esmeralda dress. That one there. Looks like it's all torn up. It does look like Esmeralda. I think that's a wrap. call it a wrap and it looks like these are the ones I may take one two that one just seems older 
Okay, four, five, and for the outfit, this one here. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. So for me, it looks like this for sure I'm gonna take. It looks like she's got really bad, bad damage, but I, I love that orange vintage bathing suit and her foot is really a mess, but she's on a TNT. There's a tag there and it says TNT Barbie. So I think she's a taker. I'm just loving the vintage uh, face and the blue eyebrow, um, blue eyeshadow. And I'm gonna take this one for sure. I'm loving her face sculpt. Okay. Hi, Barbie Rockers. So this is what I came home with. And I'm gonna let you know <laughs> why I picked these ones. Okay, I enjoy, um, I really enjoy vintage dolls. So I really enjoyed her face, but she is not in the best shape. She's got a little nick on the chin, but that's okay. Because I'm loving that, that face. And more so, it was only priced at $3.99. She's in a, a very, very poor condition. Condition, But I still rescued her. And I'm going to try and fix her up as best as I can. But I also thrifted this doll partly in due to get this little vintage bathing suit. Which I think has just got such a retro vibe to it. So I love that back in the day when they made bathing suits the color combination here the orange and the blue and the white and she had a uh, tag around her neck and it does say tnt barbie so when you do t t turn her her head and her see how see how her head moves so when you turn her way she does her head does twist and turn this one here, she is quite lovely because I really love this um, face on the Snow White and I love her eyes, how they're popping and I love her red lips and I just love that bouffant hairstyle in this Disney. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to try and reset all these curls and bring her back to life. And... When I am ready, I will show you my complete display of Disney dolls. But here is her body. She has a yellow undergarment. And this one here, I thrifted her because she was in pretty good, here are the feet, she's in pretty good condition. She looked like an older model bo body Barbie. And it says, uh, trademark 97 Fox. So let me try and search out, it says 1997. Let me try and search out who this doll is. I can't tell just by looking at her face of which character doll. She must, I'm wondering, is she a Disney character? Okay, so I will figure that out. But um, I picked this one because I really enjoyed her face, her face paint. Okay, thanks for tuning in. And that's a wrap.